Birsa's life, what Birsa Munda's life was a constantly evolving life. Right. His family had uh, converted to Christianity. Eventually, he converted to Christianity, and then he came out of it when he realized the vicious cycle which uh, which missionaries were subjecting the the right. Adivasis and Vanvasis to. Right. For the next four years, he lived in absolute wilderness till he came across a spiritual guru, a Vaishnavite spiritual guru called Anand Pandey, uh, who taught him healing. Who basically uh, taught him. Healing, uh, you know, he, he had some healing powers and uh, with medicinal herbs. So eventually in 1894, when he resurfaced in his village after four years of being in wilderness, he was seen as a spiritual guru come healer, medical healer. And in fact, till 1895, but the, the, the rise in his popularity was so meteoric between, in that one year between 1894 to 95, that the same villagers who, you know, Barely, who, you know, who barely knew him or who were happy with him not being in the village. In that one year, they became hardcore devotees of him. And eventually, in a span of one year, that village turned into a tourist spot that would, a pilgrimage spot that would attract people from maybe, you know, a radius of 10 kilometers all around. 